top darts players, including Phil Taylor, will be taking to the hockey tonight in Stoke-on-Trent in a charity match. Four local amateurs have also won knockout rounds to get their chance to play tonight. Well, Laura Mayman Mullen caught up with one of them as he got his final practice in this afternoon. <laughs> You must be very excited about playing on the stage with with legends tonight. Yeah, so far a good cause. So family have been in and out of the Don Louise Hospice, so it's quite cause was quite close to my heart. So yeah. And what does it mean to you to be on the same stage as as all four of them? Um, everything really is where I belong. I should be up there playing with the sorts of players that are on the stage. So yeah, Looking forward to it. And what does it take to be a good darts player? A lot of practice, hours and hours and hours. And then obviously going to the events and trying to do as best as you can to get, get where you want to be. So, yeah. Well, I know you're aiming high. This is a good opportunity tonight for you, so uh, you better get practicing. Yeah. <laughs> and the event gets underway in just a few minutes, and Laura's been catching up with one of the star players involved. Well, the last time a professional match was played in Stoke-on-Trent was 10 years ago, and it was actually here at the King's Hall. Well, joining me tonight, I'm delighted to say, is... The most successful player in darting history, the 16 times champion of the world! Yes. And it's been ten years. I could have walked here tonight. I only live two miles away. Brilliant. I'm absolutely over the moon. I really am. Not just for us, for for the charity. It's it's. I mean, Mal's a good friend anyway. Do you know what I mean? And we raise a bit of money for Don Louise, and it's. I love it. I'm I'm so chuffed with our, our local people for supporting us. I can't tell you. I really am chuffed. This venue, you've outgrown this venue. You are filling stadiums right across the world. Yeah, it's yeah, but this is still home for me. This is and this venue itself, I love this venue because it's a lot like the Winter Gardens. It's the old Victorian building, so that the feel of it, it's even though it's empty, it's still got a nice, nice feel about it. Well, joining us tonight as well is Liz from the charity. Liz. How difficult was it to get all four of these legends here in the same place on the same night? Well, it's been a real, real challenge because they've got such a busy schedule. They go all over the world and play matches. So we've had to find a week where they're actually out all together in one place. And of course, having Phil as one of our celebrity champions has really, really helped. Well, it's going to be a fantastic night here in Stoke-on-Trent and best of all, raising money for a very good cause. Donald Louise. <laughs> Never changes, does he, Phil? Gosh. Well, I was 